and welcome to the Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby. And today, Jesus is brought before the council. And today, Peter will deny Jesus. But before we get into that, chapter 14 of St. Mark's Gospel, let's say our psalm. And today is going to be psalm number 43. Psalm number 43, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Vindicate me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. From the deceitful and unjust man, deliver me. For you are the God in whom I take refuge. Why have you rejected me? Why do I go about mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? Send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God my exceeding joy. And I will praise you with the lyre, O my God, O my God. Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, St. Mark, chapter 14, starting at verse 53. That's Mark 14, 53. And they led Jesus to the high priest, and all the chief priests, and the elders, and the scribes came together. And Peter had followed him at a distance, right into the courtyard of the high priest. And he was sitting with the guards and warming himself at the fire. Now the chief priests and the whole council were seeking testimony against Jesus to put him to death, but they found none. Many bore false witness against him, but their testimony did not agree. And some stood up and bore false witness against him, saying, We heard him say, I will destroy this temple that is made with hands, and in three days I will build another not made with hands. And of course he was speaking of the temple of his body. Yet even about this their testimony did not agree. And the high priest stood up in the midst and asked Jesus, Have you no answer to make? What is it that these men testify against you? But he remained silent and made no answer. Again the high priest asked him, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed? And Jesus said, I am, and you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power and coming with the clouds of heaven. And the high priest tore his garments and said, What further witness do we need? You have heard his blasphemy. What is your decision? And they all condemned him as deserving death. And some began to spit on him and to cover his face and to strike him, saying to him, Prophesy. And the guards received him with blows. Now before we go on to Peter denying Jesus, let's go back for just a second. And uh, the high priest asked him, are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed? The Jewish people could not speak the Word of God except the high priest on one day, and that was the Day of Atonement. That was the only day that they would speak the name of God. So they would use various terms to get around that prohibition. And this was one of them. So he is essentially asking him, are you the Son of God? When he says, are you the Son of, blessed, the, of the Blessed? And Jesus replied, I am. I am the Son of God. And you will see the Son of Man, that's himself, seated at the right hand of power, God, and com coming with the clouds of heaven. And the high priest tore his garments and said, What further witnesses do we need? You have heard his blasphemy. What is your decision? And they all condemned him as deserving death. All? No. Not all. Let's turn to Luke uh, chapter 
23, I think it is. I have it marked. I have it marked, Bernie. Yes. Chapter 23, verse 50 of St. Luke. Now there was a man named Joseph from the Jewish town of Arimathea. He was a member of the council, a good and righteous man who had not consented to their decision and action, and he was looking for the kingdom of God. So there was at least one dissenter, and there was probably a second, Nicodemus. Do you remember Nicodemus from chapter 3 of St. John? Jesus came to him at night, or he came to Jesus at night to ask him. And Jesus went through that you must be born again. Do you remember that incident? If not, go to St. John chapter 3. Nicodemus was a member of the Sanhedrin, a member of the council. Perhaps he did not consent either. But there is at least one, one dissenter, Joseph of Arimathea. All righty, now let's go on to Peter denying Jesus. And as Peter was below in the courtyard, remember Jesus, Peter had followed Jesus into the courtyard of the high priest, and he was warming himself beside the fire. One of the servant girls of the high priest came, and seeing Peter warming himself, she looked at him and said, You also were with the Nazarene, Jesus. But he denied it, saying, I neither know nor understand what you mean. And he went out into the gateway, and the rooster crowed. And the servant girl saw him and began again to say to the bystanders, This man is one of them. But again he denied it. Two. And after a little while the bystanders again said to Peter, Certainly. You are one of them, for you are a Galilean. And that would have been obvious from his dress and from the accent of which he spoke Aramaic. But he, had be he began to invoke a curse on himself and to swear, I do not know this man of whom you speak. And immediately, that was the third rejection, re third denial, and Peter, rem and immediately the rooster crowed a second time. And Peter remembered how Jesus had said to him, Before the rooster crows twice, you will, deny, you will deny me three times. And he broke down and wept. The word of God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Well, tomorrow, Jesus is delivered to Pilate. And Pilate delivers Jesus to be crucified. So until tomorrow, May God bless us all, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord.